Good morning from Spain. Uh, today I will do marmalade from uh, the puree from pomegranates and lemons from my tree here and oranges from my tree as well. So as you see I have a lot of them. I will use the peel Oh, a little grasshopper. I hope he's happy here. Oh, so this looks very big and nice. I think I have enough now. So I will go into my kitchen. Bye, bye, grasshopper. So here I am in my kitchen. Now I will. Take the outside of the peel, not so much from the white, because the white is more bitter. So I do it like a little bit careful. And if you don't like bitter at all, maybe don't use the peel at all. Or be very careful just to put the orange stuff in here. Now I did them all and of course I scratched myself a little bit. I always do that, so it's normal. Uh, and I take as much as possible out from this here. And now next step. Is to cut them. I get as much as possible out. And now I have quite a lot, a lot of orange juice in here. So I will put the heat on and continue here. It starts to boil. Now I have the rest here. And if this, if this here is only full with nice fruit, I can use the fruit too. This one doesn't have very much seeds, so I can put the fruit in. Uh, the lemons, I know they will have more. I will leave this go the way we zoom. Now it's time to do the same thing with the lemons. So, and of course with the lemons, if because I have my own, they come with a little bit of spots. So then I don't use that one. I just leave it. Same here to not make it too bitter. You better not take too much of this. Try to keep keep it yellow. And this lemons actually inside they don't taste very much. They are sweet and they don't have so much flavor. But the peel is really Excellent. It, it smells great and it tastes great. So they, this one, they have have it all in the peel. Now I did the. I can turn it off so you can hear me. I did the same thing here with the lemons. Try to get as much as possible. Out from this here, so I was thinking maybe in the future I 
I'll try to speak all four languages in the videos. I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe it will be too complicated for me and for everyone to listen. Puedo hacer todo los videos en cuatro idiomas. Español, alemán, inglés, sueco. Aquí tenemos limones, citroner, lemons, Citrone. Hmm. And I will do the same thing, of course, with this. And you will see they don't have so much liquid inside. They are not so juicy. The oranges have more juice inside, but it still works. Now I did the last lemon and here I have a lot of seeds so I will not use this but I will use the juice and this will reduce a little bit more. I put the fan off for a moment and here you see it's getting more and more reduced of course you can put a lot of different spices in here if you want uh, I don't know what this is called in English mm, anis uh, in Sweden it's called like star anis anis <laughs> and you can put cinnamon mm. Again, your fantasy is the limit, and now we are getting close to Christmas, so a, a mix from uh, cinnamon, cardamom, anise, and things like that could be very delicious. This is from Sweden. And here I have now the puree from the grenades. Uh, I want to reduce this a little bit more, because now I can do it quickly before I put all the other stuff of course it will be a little bit reduced even later and I will try to do an experiment today because the lemons like I say the peel is very tasty and very full of lemon flavor so this time I will try to save the the lemon peel for for the last to put it in at the end when it's a little bit cold because last time I did it I discovered that all the flavor was like gone from the lemons so this is Un experimento. Voy a probar poner esto a la última cuando está un poquito frío. Espero que puedo guardar el sabor de limón un poquito más. Ich mache experimentos. So. Puré. Now I put the temperature a little bit lower because I don't want it to get burned in here. And now here I saved this is more more sugary and this is not as thick. I will put some of this because Today I'm doing marmalade, then I want it to be a little bit more sweet than the other sweet chili and barbecue sauce. I want them sweet too, but this is marmalade, so then I think it's good to have a little bit extra sweetness. I still want it to slowly boil. I will let this now just reduce it a little bit more. So <clears throat> this has been 
reduced quite a lot. There's a little thing. So, and um, you can see this is also getting thicker and thicker. It looks like in Sweden we do knäck for Christmas. This is almost looking the same way. And I turn the heat off. And I know also when the things get colder, they get thicker. And now I will add as much from this here that I think I need. And then I will taste it when it's a little bit colder. And then I will add this. Like I say, I want to try and see if the lemon flavor stays better. And I put them in the last moment. Now I added all syrup because I want it to be very sweet. And now I will put this inside. Of course, if you don't want to do experiments, you can put the lemon in directly and let it boil together with all the other things. I will put this in the freezer because I made a lot of things before, so I have a lot in the refrigerator. And I don't put so much in. These are a little bit too big, but this is what I have at the moment. Put a bit more. And so on. You know, I have a lot of marmalade here and I can take it out fresh from the freezer whenever I want it. <laughs> 